Happening now at 4, it's time to pull out all the stops to fight coronavirus. That's the message today from the World Health Organization to countries around the world. Here in the U.S., more cases are being confirmed, including a second presumptive case in New Jersey. Thursday afternoon, I'm Jeanette Reyes. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today continues to be the spread of coronavirus as officials try to retrace patient steps, looking for others who may have been exposed. The U.S. death toll now stands at 12. Action News reporter Trish Hartman was at today's New Jersey Department of Health briefing in Ewan Township. She joins us now with an update and Trish officials are saying they've been preparing for this day. They did say that and state officials also said as they came into this press conference, they had just learned that there is a second presumptive positive case of coronavirus in New Jersey. Now, state officials say the first case is a man in his 30s from Bergen County. He has been hospitalized since March 3rd, and the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey, confirmed that that man is indeed from Fort Lee. Symptoms developed on March 1st. We're told he then went to urgent care and then went to the emergency room. He is in stable condition at Hackensack University Medical Center. And we're told he had limited contact with other residents and those he had contact with are now being assessed for their risk of exposure. Now, the second presumptive case identified this afternoon. That test came back positive by the state lab. Not as many details available there. That person is from North Jersey and currently at Englewood Hospital in Englewood, New Jersey, according to state officials. Both of those positive test results will now be sent to the CDC in Atlanta for confirmation. Officials continue to ask that residents practice good hygiene to prevent the spread of the virus. We cannot say this enough. Please protect yourself and others from the spread of respiratory viruses by washing your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds using alcohol-based hand sanitizer covering coughs and sneezes, and please stay home if you are sick. Again, we understand the public is concerned, especially now that two cases have been identified among our residents. But we have been and continue to take all steps available to us to protect our residents. Now, in total, 13 people in New Jersey have been tested. Again, two tests have come back positive. Eight more people are being investigated as possible cases of coronavirus in New Jersey. They could be tested in the near future. New Jersey's acting governor says the threat to the public health in New Jersey still remains low, and she asked the people remain calm.